Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video. Today I'm going to be watching Toy Story 2 by John Lasseter, starring Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. I know I wasn't active in the past couple of weeks, uh, almost a month if you think about it. Damn. I was unfortunately ill, but the good news is that I have recovered in the past couple of days and as of today, I'm back. So there's that, <laughs> just in case you, if you were wondering. Anyways, I reviewed the first Toy Story film uh, early this January. And as somebody who grew up with these movies but never watched them, I thought the first one, it was great. And what surprised me the most was that the film, it wasn't just for kids. It had a lot to offer for the adults too. So that's great. I also thought that Toy Story 1, um, it had really good CGI for its time. I mean, obviously it didn't age very well, but I do acknowledge how great they were for the time. From the comments of the previous uh, film, I've also been told that Toy Story 2 is just as good as the first one, so that's great to hear. I also wanted to see how the CGI improved in the five or so years between these movies. The first one was barely, what, 80, 81 minutes? Uh, and I'm guessing that has a lot to do with the rendering time and how expensive that was. Uh, but this one, I believe it's over 90 minutes, so it should feel like more of a feature film, if that makes any sense. I don't know anything at all about the plot. I'm going in completely blind, but I do hope for some great music from the great Randy Newman and uh, hopefully some heartfelt moments too. Anything more than that will be a happy bonus. But before we get into it to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page for full length reviews and reactions to this movies uh, and over 260 movies. Two TV shows, early access, and weekly polls for what to watch next. You'll need your own copy to watch along, and the link's in the description below. Please consider being a patron. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you like this video. Feel free to dislike it if you didn't. With all that being said, let's get started. Toy Story 2. Hanks. Uh, I mean, Lasseter. Hanks. Allen. Let's go. Pixar. Guys, it's so good to be back. <laughs> From the comments, I hear the third one is really good as well, so I'll definitely be watching that too. Man, Disney and Pixar made so much money selling these toys. Gamma Quadrant, Sector 4. Are we about to see Buzz Lightyear's story? Yes! Okay, wow. The CGI has improved a lot, and I can notice already. There are a lot more moving elements on screen. I believe the textures are even better. So is the lighting work. And the facial animations. No sign of intelligent life anywhere. <laughs> no sign of intelligent life, you say? <laughs> well played, Buzz. Look at the reflections. That was a 2001 A Space Odyssey reference. Wow, little details like this, man. So, we meet again, Buzz Lightyear. This is Zerg? <laughs> so cheesy. I love it. Oh. Oh no! no <laughs> it's a no, video no, game! You almost had it. I'm never gonna defeat Zerg! Sure you will, Rex. Woody? Huh? Oh. Hey, it's Woody. Oh. You haven't found your hat yet, have you? No! And it looks like Woody's still in charge of the toys. He's still there in the It's not in hey. Molly's room. We've looked everywhere. <laughs> ah! oh, hey, guys, this is Al. Come out, Toy Barn. And I'm sure Rex, we got turn it off! Room. Someone's gonna hear! Oh, Why do they want to turn it off? Because they don't want Andy to get new toys? Good news is, I found your hat, Woody. My hat! Well, that's the bad news, Slink. Where'd you find it? Well, that's the bad news. <laughs> Woody, hi! Woody. Oh, yeah. wow. The dog, um, the texture and animation. Okay, boy, sit. Reach for the sky. Gotcha! Oh. oh, great job, boy. Hey, Woody, ready to go to cowboy camp? Andy, honey, come on, five minutes and we're leaving. Look at Andy five with his own hat. Five minutes. Woody and Buzz Lightyear! Oh, oh. Oh, no. 
Oh, no, indeed. Maybe we can fix him on the way. No, just leave him. I'm sorry, honey. You're leaving Woody behind. <clears throat> oh, man, he's heartbroken. And they're gone. Andy! I think I heard the you've got a friend in me motif in the background. Honey, are you okay? No. Hey, Woody! Did you miss me? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up! I forgot. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. No, kid. The slow mo? I think it's meant to be symbolic. It is. <laughs> no, no! Did he actually throw him away? No, it's just a nightmare. Wheezy? What are you doing up here? I thought mom took you to get your squeaker fixed months ago. She just told him that to calm him down. And then put me on the shelf. Bye, Woody. Oh. Woody might be accidentally sold while he's trying to mount a rescue. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm actually nervous for a toy. <laughs> Oh, I knew it. Oh, crap. Oh, original hand painted face. Oh, if only you had your hand stitched polyvinyl. <laughs> there it is. Is he like a toy collector? Five dollars. I'm sorry. It's an old family toy. No. Now just walk away. Oh, no. He's going to steal him. No, he's stealing Woody. What? Stealing. Hey, what are you doing? Where's he going? Oh, do something. <laughs> it had to go bad. Good for you, Buzz. I'm going after your best friend like that. Oh. So I'm guessing Woody is now considered a rare toy, at least the original version. That's why he's valuable. No children allowed. Of course. They're like fully playing into the stereotype. <laughs> Composite skits of the kidnapper. He didn't have a beard like that. Oh. Fine. Yeah, it's draw that man in a chicken suit. <laughs> it's the chicken man! That's our guy. Was that the dude from the commercial? It is. So he owns Al Starbarn. <laughs> you, my little cowboy friend, are gonna make me big box. <laughs> Oh no, he's not even inside a house. Whoa! Hey, it's a horse. Yay! Hey! Uh, uh, it's you! I saw this character on the promotional material, like the poster in the background. I don't know who it is though. Yay! They're all wearing very similar clothes. So are they part of a set? Why, you don't know who you are, do you? Bullseye? We're finally getting some background on Woody, like we did with Buzz. I like how the director is exploring these characters in the second film. Holy crap! Wow! Sputnik's Holy first photo crap. reveal. So he's been around since the 50s? So he is technically a vintage toy. Keep looking. Oh, you're going too slow. Let me take the wheel. <laughs> It's too fast! How could you even tell what's on? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> there it is! Too fast! Man, a lot of modern kids can't relate to that. There were not too many channels back in the day, and you can just keep going around. Woody once risked his life to save me. I couldn't call myself his friend mm -hmm. if I weren't willing to do the same. When you find him. <clears throat> Alright, but I, I don't think it'll mean the same coming from me. We've got ourselves a team, ladies and gentlemen. They don't call this the old abandoned man for nothing, Prospector. I reckon we ought to get out of here. Where's my goal? Yeah, Woody's like fully invested in learning about his history. The themes of the first film and the second film are fairly similar so far. It's about change and growing up. It's about being broken, but still being valued. Once the astronauts went up, children only wanted to play with space toys. Ah, and that's where Buzz came in. We're Complete set! Now it's on to the museum! Museum? <laughs> is, that, is that the plan? To the Kanishi Toy Museum in Tokyo! That's in Japan! Japan? I gotta get back home to my owner, Andy! Hey, look, look, see? <gasps> he still has an owner! Oh my goodness. 
The museum's only interested in the collection if you're in it, Woody. The whole set. Without you, okay. we go back into storage. It's that simple. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, please no. <laughs> no! His arm! Let him go! I'm sure his precious Andy is dying to play with a one-armed cowboy doll. Why, Jesse, you know he wouldn't last an hour on the streets in his condition. Yeah, I think the filmmakers are trying to send the message that toys are meant to be played with and not stored and just admired. Did Woody give up when Sid had me strapped to a rocket? Hey, Sid, I remember Sid. Sid was like a super creative kid. <laughs> I kind of liked him in the first film, even though he was horrible. It's like a scene from Indiana Jones. Um, the humans in this film, they're rendered so much better than the previous one. They actually look somewhat like real humans. What is your problem? You didn't have to go and pull a stunt like that. What? You think I did that? So I suggest you just wait until morning. The cleaner will come, fix your arm, and then I'm out of here. Why did the toys cross the road? So they could go to the other side? Why? To get to the chicken on the other side! They <laughs> 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 have no idea the destruction they're causing. Don't... No mashed potato, please. Ah, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> Did not go well though. <laughs> it's almost like he's being prepped for surgery. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> it's more buzz. Oh man, they're in a proper toy store, which only means we'll get to meet toys, new toys, hopefully. Well, at least he's doing a very good job in restoring Woody. <gasps> no! Holy moly, that's a lot of buzz like this. Wow, am I really that fat? <laughs> that really what you're thinking about? You're breaking ranks, oh. Ranger. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. I've got an AWOL Space Ranger. Tell me I wasn't this deluded. Go back. You were, Buzz. You were. <gasps> has your mind been melded? You could have killed me, Space Ranger. This Buzz Lightyear has no idea that he's a toy. Just like our original one. Oh, 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 what? Barbies? What a great party. Did they actually get the rights from Mattel, or...? I think so. I'm tour guide Barbie. I'm a marriage spot, I'm a marriage spot, I'm a marriage spot. <laughs> single fellas. That's a joke for the adults right there. I'm a married spot, I'm a married spot. <laughs> it says how you defeat Zerg! Look, hey! Excuse me, Get sir! Get this out of here, Geekasaur! <gasps> Buzz, I know how to defeat Zerg! You do? Oh no, it's not there, Buzz. Look at this stitching! Andy's gonna have a hard time ripping this! Hello! <laughs> Hi! Well, if you knew him, you'd understand. You see, Andy's Let me guess. Even though you're not moving... You're alive? You feel like you're alive. How did you know that? Because Emily was just the same. Oh. Man, that's hard to my whole world. When she loved me. That was a beautiful melody. So the years went by, I stayed the same. But she began to drift away within my heart. When she. The whole underlying theme of these films, it's friendship and love. How long will it last, Woody? Do you really think Andy is going to take you to college? Or on his honeymoon? Or you can stay with us and last forever. You'll be adored by children for generations. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> but the good news is he only has to cross the road. Oh no, not only... Did he leave the store open? Zerg is out in the open now. Okay, let's move! You know, I think that buzzer out went to his head. <laughs> oh no. Well, which way do we go? Why not just take the elevator? 
They'll be expecting that. Hang tight, everyone. I'm going to let go of the wall. Uh, what? He would. He still thinks he's controlling it. Say, little missy, you notice any trouble around these parts? Marry a bit! Buzz, can you see what's going on? Oh, it, it's horrible. They're, they're torturing him. What? what are we gonna do, Buzz? Use your head. <laughs> I think they took it a little too literally. Hold it right there. Buzz? Buzz? You again? Woody, thank goodness you're all right. I'm a rare Sheriff Woody doll, and these guys are my roundup gang. Woody, what are you talking about? You are a toy! You're meant to be played with. One more rip and Eddie's done with me. And what do I do then, Buzz, huh? You tell me. Somewhere in that pad of stuffing is a toy who taught me that life's only worth living if you're being loved by a kid. Well, you wasted your time. Dude, this is surprisingly emotional. Let's go, everyone. For the times when I'm not around. Good going, Woody. I thought they'd never leave. You got a friend in me. Hey. Oh, man, this song is going to remind him of his friendship with Andy, isn't it? So what is Woody going to do? He has a real choice now. What am I doing? Buzz! Wait! Wait! Woody, where are you going? You're right, Prospector. I can't stop Andy from growing up. But I wouldn't miss it for the world. Come with me. What? Andy will play with all of us. I know it. Prospector, how about you? <gasps> Prospector? You're out of your box. Wait a minute. You turned on the TV last night, not Jesse. Well, finally my waiting has paid off. And no hand-me-down cowboy doll is gonna mess it up for me now. Oh, no. He's jealous of never being sold. So Guess who's here? Buzz Light. <laughs> Quick, get on! Surrender, Buzz Lightyear. I have won. I'll never give in. You killed my father. No one. Prepare to die. I am your father. No! <laughs> that was that was Star Wars. <laughs> Prepare to die. Ah, I can't look. <laughs> Prepare to die. How are we gonna get him now? Pizza, anyone? <laughs> go, go, go! I got Planet Pizza from the previous movie. What a callback. Uh, strangers from the outside. Aliens, oh, they're back no. too. They're also playing with nostalgia. Good stuff. Oh, I seriously doubt he's getting this kind of mileage. Go right! To the right! Right, 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 right! Uh, Once we go through, we just need to find that case. Oh, no. Okay, Woody, let's go! Oh. Ooh. Take that, space toy! Hey! No ah. one does that to my friend! Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Your choice, Woody. Ah. You can go to Japan together or in pieces. Ah. 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 Gotcha! Idiots! Children destroy toys! You'll all be ruined! Forgotten! How would you know? You've never been played with. Look, Barbie, a big ugly man doll. Ooh, he needs a makeover. <laughs> She's an artist. <laughs> You'll definitely be played with now. The animators, they really did a good job with the scaling of things, making things bigger than they actually are. Excuse me, ma'am, but I believe you're on the wrong flight. Woody. Come on, Jess. It's time to take you home. He's got a little sister. He does? Why don't you say so? Let's go! Whoa. Where do we go from here? The only way I see is through the landing gear. I hope they're not messing up the plane. <laughs> Jesse, let go of the plane! Oh, perfect. Let's go home. Yeah, it's time. Oh, oh wow, new toys! Cool! Thanks, Mom! It's Bazooka Jane and her chip propelled horse! He thinks mom got the new toys for him. Hey, you fixed Woody! Yeah, glad I decided not to take him to camp. His whole arm might have come off. You have no idea, kid. Oh, Bullseye! We're part of a family again! She's got Andy's name! 
And so does he. Bright young woman with a beautiful yarn full of hair. A hair full of yarn. It's, uh, oh, um, <clears throat> I must go. Well, aren't you the sweetest space toy I ever met? <laughs> oh, 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 hey, Rex, I could use a hand over here, buddy. I don't need to play. He actually defeated Zarg at the end. Let's adopt some daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a dad Weezy. now. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Yeah, we're near the end. And what a perfect, perfect song to end the film on. Marker. Oh, and man. Action. What a great movie. They're doing fake bloopers. It's brilliant. Uh, whew, I don't remember eating that. Cut. Uh, I can't believe that's this. That's a fifth line. Music by Randy Newman. No wonder. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe they actually took the time to do all these bloopers. <laughs> we'll be back before Andy gets home. Isn't this exciting, Heimlich? Our first day of shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so exciting. Dude, you know, is, is I... this from the uh, animated film? I haven't watched Bugs Life as well. If it's worth watching, do let me know. Are they all gone? <laughs> uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? <gasps> Good. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are killing me! I can't keep smiling like this anymore. I am exhausted! They're actually acknowledging the fact that Barbie smile all the time. Oh man, I had such a good time. Even consider it superior to the original in some aspects. We'll talk about that soon enough. Oh man, I can't wait for Toy Story 3. Okay, I took quite some time collecting my thoughts. First off, what a great sequel it was probably as good or even better than the first one which is very rare in the film industry keeping things fresh uh, but also familiar if that makes any sense the movie had a lot of heart and i'm very happy to say that it appealed to both the inner child and the adult in me the story was heartfelt uh, emotional but the real stars here were the animators they brought these characters to life again. It was a generational leap compared to the first film. The other strengths, I'd say, were the solid directing from uh, Lasseter, um, the voice acting, especially from um, Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, the new characters that were introduced, the themes that were tackled, like uh, change, friendship, greed and jealousy, and finally, the fantastic score from Randy Newman. I don't have any real criticisms to be honest, but I do wish we got to see more of Andy and Woody's relationship. The love between Andy and Woody was the backbone of the first movie, and although it was referenced uh, plenty of times, I believe it was a central theme here too. I thought a few extra scenes between those two would have added to the movie. I don't know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Let's start with the directing by John Lasseter and the story by him, the Dr. Uh, Ash Brennan and Andrew Stanton. The story here, like the first one, it was kept fairly simple. That's not a bad thing, by the way. Basically, kid forgets toy, toy becomes scared and insecure before realizing uh, that being loved and played with, it. that's all that matters at the end. I don't want to talk too much about the plot since it was fairly straightforward but I want to say that I love the new characters uh, like Jesse and uh, Bullseye. Another strong point was the backstories that were presented. We got to know about uh, Woody's family, the TV show he was in. He was like super popular back in the day and now he's very valuable because he's a collectible, he's rare. Uh, Buzz also got some backstory. Uh, so did Jesse and um, our secondary protagonist, Stinky Pete. Uh, the returning characters were given a lot of agency too. That's great. Uh, one thing I noticed was how fast the film felt compared to the first one. Uh, I think that was because the filmmakers, they didn't have to introduce and spend a lot of time with all these new characters. They were mainly familiar. They, they just gave our existing characters more depth and spend a little time introducing the new characters too. That's a good thing. Let's talk a little about the themes that were tackled here. 
a couple of obvious ones uh, from the first film were friendship, love, and letting go. Uh, Woody and the gang, they realize that they will be forgotten one day, but they're okay with it. They learn to be okay with it. And they intend to make the best of their lives with the time they have left. What a great message to send to kids. The movie also pointed out that if you're broken, you're still valuable. Another two things that were dealt with, I think the newer themes were jealousy and greed. Jealousy was represented by Stinky Pete, who never got played with. And um, Greed was, of course, Al, the collector. Speaking of Al, um, if he didn't steal Woody at the beginning, I wouldn't consider him as a bad guy. <laughs> Don't judge me. I mean, he, he was just a collector, so I don't know. But then again, he did steal Woody at the beginning of the film, so he got what he deserves at the end. Small note, the antagonist from the first movie, Sid, I believe, he grew on me in the past couple of months. Uh, he was just a kid who loved explosions, and I can so relate to that. In this one, Al was, in fact, a bad guy because he, he was a thief, and not necessarily because of the greed. That's what I got from it, at least. As an adult, if I found, if, if, if I found a $100,000 collectible, I would probably try and sell it too. <laughs> I wouldn't steal, though, so that, that's the difference right there. Moving on to my favorite aspect of the entire movie, the production end, specifically the CGI. Like I mentioned before, this was a generational leap in just five years. And how f it's amazing how fast computer technology uh, develops, uh, like Moore's Law, which is kind of dying now. That's a whole separate story. Everything was improved from the textures to the lighting, shadows, reflections, subscattering, great stuff the facial animations were way better in expressing in expressing emotions this time around some scenes actually got me emotional which was so not that surprising but wow the facial an animations really sold it granted that's got to do with a uh, that's got to do with the writing and the voice acting and the music but these excellent animations definitely added to it uh the entire cast here was so good uh led by our incredibly charismatic Tom Hanks and Tim Allen as uh, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. They really put the work here and the audience, as the audience, we, we, we reap the benefits. Even the new actors, they slotted right in. No complaints in the performances here. Finally, the music from um, music and score from Randy Newman was just as good as the first movie. We got a healthy dose of nostalgia with uh, You've Got a Friend in Me. But we also got some new songs. Uh, one was just hauntingly emotional. I think it was uh, the one about Jesse when she loved me. Wow. Wow. Even the background score was quite memorable and consistent with the franchise, hitting the right notes. As for criticisms, like I mentioned before, I don't have any real ones. I just wish we got more scenes with Woody and Andy together. Overall, Toy Story 2 was just as good or even better than the first film, a rare feat in Hollywood. Hitting all the right beats made with humor, heart, and love, this film was an instant classic. A step up both in animation and storytelling, they bought these characters closer to life and closer to our hearts led by an excellent excellent cast great directing from john lasseter and a memorable score from randy newman this movie made me want to dig up my old toys and just to play with them i still i, I think i have my old batman toys I'll, I'll have to dig them up believe me believe me when i say i cannot wait for toy story 3. anyways thanks for watching i have a patreon page please consider being a patron Please subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos, like if you like this video, feel free to dislike it if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Bye.